Welcome to the My Amazon Guy podcast. This is your host, Stephen Pope. Today, we're going to be talking about A-plus content or enhanced brand content. I'm now joined by Marima Makea. Thanks for joining. Thanks for having me. So Marima is the creative director at My Amazon Guy, and she has developed more than 100 different ASINs of content and designs and also leads our design team. So I'm super excited to talk to Marima today. So first question for you, um, what does it take to have great A-plus content? So really to have great A-plus content, you're going to need a combination of two things. You're going to need images that really stand out and then great copy to go along with it. A-plus content is really supposed to just expand on your product description and be a better version of that. So you really want to take advantage of what Amazon offers you, which is the ability to add graphics and the ability to add more text than what's in your bullet points or what's in your existing description. So you really want to include your best product features and what really makes you stand out from the competitors. So you've you've seen a lot of things that can be helpful to build out better pictures. And any and by the way, guys uh, who are listening to this, we do develop A plus content. We charge five hundred bucks, and it includes everything we're going to talk about on the podcast today. A lot of technical components. We'll go into a lot of great detail. And if you need that design done, just go over to myamazonguy.com. All right. So when it comes to pictures, if you're going to be providing pictures to a designer. And let's say I'm the company and you're the designer and I'm providing you pictures. What what kind of things would be helpful for us for me to give you? So just really high quality product photos will be really great. And then lifestyle images is what Amazon really wants to see on the A plus content. So we can sometimes add our own images or find images that match your product online, but including your own lifestyle images that you've taken of your product really helps you stand out. And, and sometimes we'll have a client who is limited on images and we'll go fill them in, um, grab some, uh, some images off iStock or, or another filler lifestyle image, and that's totally doable, but better if you've got your products in the shots, if at all possible. All right, so what can, what can a, a product or a company do to stand out from competitors, in your opinion? I think definitely just having high quality graphics and mentioning all the product features that you think would sell your product. So, so when, when we're talking about features, um, I like to think about if you can express something and the only thing that the the, the consumer is going to see is, is within five seconds, what would that be? And that's what I think needs to be expressed in an image. And sometimes it's easier to do that in an image than in text, in my opinion. So, So that's great. Um, All right. So let's, we're going to be talking about best practices today and things that you can and can't do in A plus content, ways to increase your sales, your traffic, your conversion. All of these things are really great to to improve uh, your sales on Amazon. So let's talk about some rules. Uh, What can you not do and what can you do or say in your content, Marima? So basically for A plus content, the rules and regulations are a bit more strict than your standard rules for bullet points and for uh, main product images. So the same rules still apply, like you can't include false claims or anything like that. But you also can't include other things like restricted keywords. For example, you can't include your warranties or your guarantees in your A plus content. You can't include anything that comes off as a claim without proof behind it. So you can't call your product environmentally friendly. You can't call it natural or organic or something like that unless you include a citation that proves that. So really just unverified claims is what you really want to avoid in your A-plus content. Can you put like uh, reviews or testimonials or quotes? No, you can't include that either. You can sometimes include that in the Amazon store, but you cannot include it in your A-plus content. What about warranties or guarantee statements? No warranty or guarantee information. You should include that in your bullet points instead. And then uh, a lot of times websites have some really good content on. Can, Can I link to my website for my content? There's no website links and there's no email links either. And then uh, let's talk about keywords. So are there specific keywords that you would suggest avoiding any use of? 
Yeah, so Amazon has a long growing list of restricted keywords. It's not really online, so sometimes it's just hit or miss if you include it or not. But some keywords that you want to avoid are keywords like guarantee, anything about being environmentally friendly or eco-friendly, uh, keywords such as like weed, hemp, things like that will flag CBD. it. Medical related keywords. Yeah, definitely. Co coronavirus or, yeah. or any of those language. Definitely avoid all that right now. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that, that those are some great tips on on how to you know avoid some of those situations. Um, and if something gets rejected, uh, you know, part of our service is to go and fight and get it reinstated or, or, or instated. Um, sometimes we've seen uh, error messages like, hey, this item is not associated with your brand registry. So we experienced that quite a bit at my Amazon guy. What, what's the typical solution for that, Marima? So for the brand registry issue, you will typically have to file a ticket with Amazon support and ask them to link your product because that's usually the issue that we come across. Sometimes in those ticket responses, Amazon will respond and say something like, hey, delete your item from the catalog and reload it. I hate doing that. And it's so scary. <laughs> but sometimes that is what is required, especially if you've done a brand name change. If you've ever changed your brand name in the Amazon catalog, even if it was two years ago, you might have to do um, some ticketing or troubleshooting or even possible deletions and reloading. So we run into that for pretty frequently. All right, so let's say um, I've got this great A-plus design and I've submitted it to Amazon. What's the typical timeline for it to go live? So it really varies across accounts. For some accounts, we see almost an instant approval. And for some accounts, it takes around one to two weeks. And from, from my experience, too, I've seen that once you've had at least one A-plus content approved, the, the next ones kind of go a little bit quicker, too. So if it's your second or third round, it might, might also speed up. Um, all right, what about development time on our design team? So how long does it typically take us to get a turnaround for, for a client? Our design team will typically have a four business day turnaround once we have everything that we need to get right, get started, including the assets and whatnot. Perfect. And then if we have like a, um, a draft revision, we typically turn that around in a couple more days following that? Yeah, a couple more days sounds about right. Perfect. All right. So, so now we've talked about what you can and can't do and, and a couple of best practices. Let's take the uh, conversation a little bit different area now. So uh, this is a debatable subject. I actually don't know what Marim is going to answer to this question. Um, but I have a strong opinion. Is A-plus content more about traffic or conversion, in your opinion? So in my opinion, well, it's definitely going to affect both. I would say it affects conversion more than it would affect traffic. Um, we'll talk about this down the road with A-B testing, but um, A-plus content has definitely proven to increase conversion rates. Even if it's a small increase, like it does help sales and anything helps really when it comes to Amazon. But mm -hmm. it also does affect traffic because of the alt text keywords that we do add into our A plus content. And that will affect search rankings on both Amazon and outside of Amazon on search engines such as Google and whatnot. So uh, Amazon claims they don't index A plus content. We believe that's Faults. We think that Amazon does index it, and we've tested this by putting Spanish behind some of the alt text keywords behind a photo. Um, <clears throat> some of our listeners are not going to know what an alt text is, so can you explain what that is? So for every image in your A-plus content, you have the opportunity to enter 100 characters of keywords um, in the back end. So this isn't viewed by... Um, Amazon customers or anything. It's really just the source code thing. And those keywords will help you rank. And whenever I'm on a phone call with a new client or potential coaching, um, this is the most missed opportunity in A plus content, in, in my opinion. I'll typically see people or designers that'll, that'll label photos such as photo one, photo two, um, instead of using that full 100 characters, it's so important. This is the most important thing you do when you build out A-plus content that most people are missing, and it's to fill out a full 100 characters 
of, of, of keywords behind that. So um, I think that A plus content absolutely has an impact on both traffic and conversion. Um, but most of the time when designers build things, they build it for design aesthetics. And so if they don't have that technical um, uh, instruction or that technical prowess like Marima does and some of, some of our, our, our team as, as we've kind of gone build some best practices, they'll build it without crawlable words in the content. They'll put all the words into the images, for example, and they won't set the alt text of the photos. And we found that that has typically led to way less keywords being indexed. So in my opinion, I feel like uh, A plus content should be by bar, bar none, way more of a traffic uh, push than a conversion. Now, I, I and, and Marima, of course, is a designer, you know, I've got a big design background and, and she kind of balances out my traffic push with, with the conversion and she has way better design eyes than, than I do. I cannot, I can't for the life of me say this photo will do better than that one. And that's why we do testing. Um, so let's talk about A-B testing. So, so um, there's a lot of different things you can A-B test. This is a very brand new function in, uh, in Amazon where you can now go in and test version A and version B. What are some of the things that you could A-B test in A plus content? Yeah, so basically anything. You can test like uh, placement of your modules. You can try to move one specific image up or down to see if that makes any changes. You could change the copy. You could change graphics. I mean, you could test out a whole new um, A plus content that you made. For example, you could have one with a lot of copy and one with a lot of images to see what does better with your customers. And one of the things that um, you could possibly also test is lots of copy very verbose and wordy versus limited copy and quick and short or, or even limited to no copy. Um, so, so when we've been running some of these tests ourselves, this is pretty brand new. We don't have a lot of data on this yet, but are there any um, data points that you've been able to see, Marima, or direction where you would say one thing is better than another? So one thing that we found is the product grid, it helps to have it higher up in the A-plus content it increases conversion rates and therefore increases sales. And I think the reason for that really is that the product grid is the only place in the A plus content where you can add links to your other SKUs. So you can, you can compare products and let's say you've got five different sizes of an item and why, or, or a good, better, best model. So why would I want to pay an extra 30% or whatever for that next model upgrade? Well, that product comparison grid or module um, can showcase how that's different. So it's very helpful. It's actually my favorite module. Um, I really like that module because not only can you link to the other products like Marima mentioned, but you, you've got a way to increase your average order value, expound additional value proposition and benefits. And you can literally link to any ACID in your catalog. So it doesn't even have to be the same brand. So let's say you sell four unique products that have nothing to do with each other. You could still put them in the A plus content and say, hey, you know, for this need, buy this product, for that need, buy this other product. So it's really great. Uh, Marima, do you have a favorite module that you like? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you that the product grid comparison is definitely what you want to include. Um, in a way, it's really like free advertising under your uh, item because otherwise you'd have to be paying for a sponsored ad placement, which can be really expensive in certain categories. And uh, A-plus content has a lot of customization that you can do. Could you just, you know, kind of walk us through the various type of modules? Yeah, so you have your large graphic modules, which is just really large images that you can add or not add text to, and you can also use different sizes. I think for Amazon, the two sizes for large graphics is going to be 970 by 600 or 970 by 300 pixels. So really a big square one or a rectangular one. And then you have your product comparison charts. You have your image and text uh, variations. Amazon does a lot of different variations here. You can do like a standard image with a lot of text. You can do three square images or four square images with text underneath it. Those are really good for uh, talking about product features or listing out things that you want to like include there all right so let's talk keywords so this is the most technical thing that we do in our a plus design 
I think it's where we add the most value. I think this is where my Amazon guy is, is exceptional um, and way above the competition because a, a designer at the end of the day, um, you know, aesthetically pleasing, they can make anything look good, but they can't necessarily make it rank. So let's talk about keyword research. What do you use to do keyword research and why is that such an important component in your opinion? Yeah, we use Helium 10's keyword research tool and we use it on the product that we're doing a content on as well as leading competitors. And by doing that, we really get basically every single keyword that's related to your product or that you should be ranking for on your a content in the back end keywords. And and so are these keywords that we, sh- you know, like let's let's talk about some, you know, nuances to this. Um, should I be putting in brand names, competitors, misspelling Spanish? Like what, what should I be chopping into this? Or should I just go for those big impression keywords? So what we like to do is use a huge variety. So we're definitely going to include those big impression keywords, but we're not going to repeat them in every single photo. So we can also go after those smaller keywords as well. As far as brand names, we do like to include our own brand name or misspellings of that, but we usually don't include competitor brand names to avoid any copyright issues there. And that seems to have been heating up a little bit, especially with any anything public facing. So um, typically uh, not safe to put competitor brand names into A plus content modules um, or, or into the keywords even behind them. So that's that's a good one to avoid. Um, all right. So outside of A plus content, uh, Marima also builds websites. So I do want to, you know, give a quick plug on um, some additional information. Um, what's your favorite platform and why? So we at my Amazon guy really love Shopify, and the reason for that is it's a really quick setup compared to other platforms. It's a easy, easy user interface to figure out. Basically, anyone in your company could get started on Shopify within like a day or two. Um, And the great thing about Shopify really is that they can integrate with other sales channels such as Amazon or eBay. So if you're already up on Amazon, you can connect all your Amazon products to Shopify and import them that way. And you can even use FBA to uh, ship out your Shopify items. All right. Random question for you. What is, and this is, this is one that came up on our last, um, our, our next podcast Um, What is your favorite board game and why? My favorite board game? Yeah, that's Um, a weird one. (laughs) I really love Monopoly. I know it gets people really heated and it (laughs) takes forever, but (laughs) it's always fun. I like the competition. (laughs) All right. Well, perfect. Uh, Marima, I appreciate you you joining us today to talk about A-plus content. Um, So again, if you're listening to this and you you need an A-plus design, and you want to hire Marima and our design team here at My Amazon Guy, just go over to myamazonguy.com, go on our service section, and you can get an A-plus content for $500. bucks. we will deliver it within four business days, and um, we, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make revisions until you're, you're happy with it. So, so again, Marima, thanks for, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. And uh, back, you know, any, everybody out there that's listening to our podcast, if you can share this with three other people, we'd really love to get some additional... Um, listeners, subscriptions, if you can subscribe to us and even leave us a review, that'd be great. And with that said, thanks for, thanks for listening to our podcast today.